Israeli airstrikes on Gaza continue and Hamas fires more rockets despite a UN call for an immediate ceasefire. Hello and welcome to News Hour on CCTV International. I'm Li Dongning in Beijing. Israel continued to pound the Gaza Strip from the air on Friday as Hamas fired more rockets into southern Israel. Both sides are defying a UN call for an immediate ceasefire. Yang Weihan has the latest. Israeli aircraft struck more than 30 targets before dawn on Friday. There were also constant explosions of the first light. Hamas say one Israeli airstrike killed two of its fighters, while another flattened a five-story building in northern Gaza, killing at least seven people, including an infant. By the afternoon, 22 Palestinians were killed, pushing the death toll to 776. According to Gaza health officials, at least half of those killed in the two-week-old conflict were civilians. Despite the devastating offensive, Hamas has not stopped firing rockets into southern Israel. One fell in a street in the southern town of Ashdod. An Israeli bomb squad used a robot to dismantle the unexploded rockets. Thirteen Israelis so far have been killed since the offensive on Gaza began. A UN Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire between Israel and Hamas was approved on Thursday night by a vote of 14 to 0, with the United States abstaining. However, the Israeli government says the military campaign in the Gaza Strip will continue. It calls the resolution impractical as Hamas militants continue their rocket and mortar attacks on Israeli territories. Hamas likewise says it's not interested in the ceasefire because it had not been consulted and the resolution did not meet its minimum demands. Meanwhile, Palestinians protesting against the attacks on Gaza clashed with the Israeli security forces throughout the West Bank on Friday. Yang Yuhan, CCTV. And UN officials say they will resume suspended humanitarian aid operations in Gaza as soon as practical and they made the announcement on Friday based on assurances from the Israeli Ministry of Defense that aid workers would be better protected. The Israeli military has said they deeply regretted the incidents that led the UN to suspend aid deliveries in the Gaza Strip on Thursday. The UN received credible assurances that the security of UN personnel, installations and humanitarian operations would be fully respected including undertakings of improved liaison and more effective internal coordination within the IDF. On this basis, UN staff movements suspended yesterday will resume as soon as possible. Uh, all we want uh, on the operational side is that uh, uh, we can rely on uh, the information that is provided and, uh, uh, and that uh, uh, we will not have our security compromised uh, due to poor coordination or breakdowns in communication. Uh, there is enough risk here uh, as it is a combat zone. Well, the four-year term of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is set to expire on Friday. He now faces a serious question regarding the legitimacy of his decision to remain as the Palestinian leader. And Abbas condemns legal changes should be made to allow him to extend his term to 2010. And he has deferred plans to set a date for parliamentary and presidential elections to preempt any Hamas effort to depose or replace him. The Israeli onslaught on Hamas control Gaza has temporarily eclipsed the dispute between Abbas Fatah faction and the Hamas movement over whether he must quit now. But once the ceasefire is in place, he will ask Hamas to renew reconciliation talks.